Welcome to this lesson where we'll be finding the equation of a straight line. Now, in an exam, you might be given different types of questions, and depending on the type of question, the method may need to be adjusted slightly. So here behind me here on the board, we have a graph and we've got this straight line and we've been given the coordinate of A and B and we want to find the equation of this line. Now, before we begin, I need you to write down and know this formula. Y is equal to MX plus C and the M here stands for the gradient and the C is the Y intercept, which means where it cuts the Y axis. And again, depending on the kind of question you've been given, there are different methods to find in this C value, which I will show you in this lesson. Right, so let's begin. We are going to start off by finding the gradient, the M value. Now, there are two ways you can do this. You can draw a triangle, a right angle triangle underneath, and then you find the difference in the Y and the difference in the X, um, and you can show that physically. But let's get straight into the mathematics behind this. Let me share with you a formula that you need to know to find the gradient of a line. And the formula is M is equal to the difference in the Y, so Y1 minus Y2, divided by the difference in the X, so X1 minus X2. Ultimately, the Y divided by X, so the Y divided by X. Now let's write down or draw in rather our right angle triangle. So if here the value of x is 0 and here the value of x is 5, so the length here is 5. Here the value of y is 7 and the value of y here is minus 3. So the distance here is, just to show you this, so 7 and minus 3. The length here, the distance here is 10. You could find that by doing 7 minus minus 3. And this is how this part of the formula is used. So what you can do, and let me show you this. What you can do is you can just take any of the y's. So in this case, um, let's make this our y1. So we're going to do y1 minus minus 3. So that's 7 minus minus 3 over. Now we're going to do, use our x's. So again, because we said this was y1, this would now be x1. So 5 minus 0. 5 minus 0. And let's calculate that. So 7 minus minus 3 is 7 plus 3, which is 10. And then 5 minus 0 is just 5. So our gradient is going to be 10 divided by 5, which is equal to 2. So what we can now do is go in here and replace this value of m with our 2. So we have y is equal to 2x plus c. And that's the first step that you will take with any of these types of questions. All that leaves us to do now is to find the value of c. Now, to find c, there are different variations to how you'd find c. On this particular question, it's actually quite easy to find what c is because you know that c is where it cuts the y-axis. And you can see that it cuts the y-axis at minus 3. So what you can do is just replace this plus c with minus 3. And there you have it, the equation of this line. So now let's have a look at these next two questions. Slightly different to the one that we've just done because they don't have the graph drawn for us. We just have the two coordinates. So we will find the equation of the line that goes through 3, 7 and 5, 11. And we're going to do the same for these two coordinates as well. In fact, you can do these two coordinates after you've seen me do it. So pause the video after I've done this and then use the method to find it for this one. Now, before we answer this first question, visually, this is what it's going to look like. You're just going to have a straight line here, um, and you've got 3, 7, and 5, 11. And simply, we are finding the equation of this line. So we can draw our right angle triangle like I did previously, uh, but we won't have to because I went straight into the calculation of it. And the calculation was M to find the gradient. So remember, we are looking at finding this format in our equation. So m is the first thing that we will find. So m is going to be equal to the y minus the other one's y. And it doesn't matter which order you do it in. So you could do 7 minus 11, but then you'd have to do the 3 minus 5 for the denominator. I'm just going to choose 11 minus 7 divided by 5 minus 3. So 11 minus 7 
divided by 5 minus 3. It doesn't matter. What you can't do is you can't do 11 minus 7 and then for this one you decide to do the other way. Okay. Um, hopefully this question will sort of show you that in, and why you shouldn't do that in a bit more detail. So let's continue this. So 11 minus 7, we get 4 and 5 minus 3, which is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our gradient is 2. So in here, we are going to have y is equal to 2x plus c. Now, we will find the value of c. Now, we can't see our x axis here or our y axis and we won't know where this line cuts through on the y axis, the y intercept. So we will have to work out this value of c. How? By substituting either of these two coordinates and you can pick which one. Usually I pick the one with the numbers where the numbers are easier to manage, probably this one. So I will sub in 3 and 7 into this equation. So I'm just going to do that over here because I'm running out of room. So y will be my 7 and x will be my 3. So let's sub that in. So 7 is my y is equal to 2 times x. x is 3. So 2 times 3 plus c. So all I've done is I've substituted that coordinate into this equation where I have x and y. There you have it. And I will just work this out and I'll find the value of C. So that will be 7 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6 plus C. I will take that 6 to this side. So that will be 7 minus 6, which is equal to 1. So C is equal to 1. I can also write it like this. And I will come back in here and I will sub in my value of C. So my final equation will be, and I'll just do that here. Y is equal to 2X plus 1. And this is the equation of this line. Now, I did say to you to try this one yourself. Um, so pause the video, give it a try, and then press play again when you're ready to go through it with me. Right, so let's have a look at what you did for this one. So to start with, we will find our gradient, our m. So once again, m is y1 minus y2. So I'm going to do 7 minus 1. So 7 minus 1 over 1 minus minus 2. So 1 minus minus 2. And if you remember, in the previous example, I said you can't swap them around. So if you do 7, this one minus this one, then you have to do this minus that. Okay, you have to do that. If you wanted to do this one minus this one, then you'd have to do minus 2 minus 1. All right, so this is what we have so far. So 7 minus 1 gives us 6. And 1 minus minus is a plus. So you get 1 plus 2, which is 3. Once again, 6 over 3, which is 2. We, get, we seem to be getting a lot of gradients today, which are 2. Um, but hopefully, um, after this one, we'll try to pick one where we don't get that. And maybe we might even get a negative. But stay tuned for that. Right, so what do we have so far? We have the gradient, so y is equal to 2x plus c. And we will find the value of our c. Again, by substituting any of these two coordinates. Once again, I'm going to pick the easier one, which looks like this one. So I'm going to sub in out my x as 1 and my y as 7. So 7 is equal to 2 times 1 plus c. And 7 is equal to, that gives me 2 plus c. Take the 2 to the other side, I get 5. So c is equal to 5. I could write it the other way as well, just so it helps some of you understand it better. And therefore, my final equation now would be with my 2. So the c will be replaced. So y is equal to 2x plus 5. And that is the equation of this line that goes through these two points. Now, the last two didn't throw something that you might have in your exam. So I've chosen two sets of coordinates now that will give me a negative gradient and something else. So have a go at this. So this one, let's find our gradient. So we've got 5 minus 2. And we are going to do 4 minus 6. Now, just as I've been telling you all lesson, notice here I did 4 minus 6 because I did 5 minus 2. I didn't just for convenience. It was something that students often do. Some students uh, do it the other way around because, oh, 6 minus 2 will give me a nicer number. No, I stayed to my consistency. Okay, 
So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, and 4 minus 6 is minus 2. So we're going to have a minus gradient this time, and a fraction. So what do we have? We have y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus c. So now all that leaves us to do is find our value of c. Now, once again, use any of the two coordinates. So in this case, both of them look quite nice. Uh, I'm just going to pick the first one, so 6 and 2. So I'm going to substitute 6 and 2 in here. So 2 is my y, so 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2 times by 6 plus c. Now what do we have here? We have 3 times 6 over 2. So that's what we can do with this fraction. So 3 times 6 is minus 18 over 2. Two. Now, just a quick point here. This minus, it affects the whole fraction, not just 18 or not just the 2. It's the whole fraction it affects. So 18 over 2 plus C. So this gives us, so we forgot to carry the 2 here. 2 is equal to, so 18 over 2 is minus 9 and plus C. We're going to take the minus 9 to this other side, giving us C as 11. So now all that is left is to substitute in here our value of C. So we have y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 11. And that is the equation of the line that goes through those two points. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson. In the next few videos, I'll be looking at more videos and more lessons to do with straight line graphs. For example, dealing with parallel and perpendicular lines and also some ratio. So stay tuned.